नमस्ते राहु इज आई एम समबडी ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस इज वॉट एक्चुअली ड्राइव्स यू क्रेजी दिस इज वॉट ब्रिंग्स मोर मेजरीज इन युअर लाइफ वेन एवर यू आर मूविंग विथ इन युअर फैमिली और इन पब्लिक प्लेसेस और इन युअर ऑफिस एनी वेर देर इज देर इज दिस थॉट ऑलवेज ऑन द बैक ऑफ युअर माइंड आई एम समबडी देर वॉज अ मैन ही वॉज गोइंग थ्रू राहू महादशा इन द बिगेनिंग ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू कंट्रोल दिस अर्ज बट देन फाइनली स्लोली ही स्लोली ही स्टार्टेड कमिंग इन द लाइम लाइट एंड देन ही स्टार्टेड पोस्टिंग हिज पिक्चर्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक हिज पिक्चर्स विथ सम पॉलिटिशियंस एंड दिस एंड जस्ट यू नो दैन इज स्टार्ट कमिंग आई एम समबडी यू नो लुक एट मी आई एम समबडी दिस इज राहु दिस इज राहु एंड राहु विल नॉट स्टॉप जस्ट एट दिस पॉइंट दैट आई एम समबडी राहु इज समथिंग दैट विल कीप यू जस्ट गोइंग and running and running and running until you drop dead doing too much is the very nature of rahu do more do more in this podcast i have talked a little more on rahu too much is the only sin says laosu whenever you are going in your with your family or whenever you are going to meet somebody in your family generally what happens if they don't recognize you if they don't give you the right kind of basically if they don't butter you then you feel offended because that ego is within you i am somebody look at me so this whole thing is of ignorance you know a wise man always likes when somebody when nobody notices him nobody the less the attention the better that is the nature of wise man that is what a wise man wants the less the attention the better and in the case of rahu the more the attention the better that is what rahu wants the more the attention the better and a ketu is the less the attention the better that's why there are so many great great sadhus staying far away in the himalayas you may not even know them and they really don't like to be in this human world so they keep themselves away where as a rahuish person wants to kind of shine and show everybody that i am somebody and that is in everybody because everybody is going through that phase of rahu at some stage of life so in this podcast i have talked about this rahu and this nature of doing too much now on this podcast or on this channel also some people mention that you please talk directly about astrology this house this planet in that house then what happens but that is not astrology that is just parroting and those who are seeking that kind of astrology will eventually end up with nothing absolutely nothing the real astrology is when there is a essence of spirituality in it there is a essence of philosophy in it but youtube is a big forum millions of people come everybody doesn't have that kind of understanding and so all they do is to either write offending comments and through their comments they show themselves their level of understanding they become naked through their comments 
that's why whenever you comment be careful because your comment tells what kind of person you are so there is more on this subject that i have discussed so let's begin when i was staying in the us whenever i would switch on the news channels there was more news coverage about pakistan than india you see the one that creates more noise more troubles more pain has the maximum focus and that is how rahu has been the foremost popular subject of the masses because what pains the most needs more attention than the one who is making no noise no trouble no problems fear has more following than faith fear sells faster than faith that is the reality of human life and it has been from the very beginning of time fear is the most basic emotion we have fear is primal fear sells until you stop buying it rahu is that fear and so rahu is the most in demand entity of all planets that you have in your birth chart on a deeper level it is the rahu ketu axis that has much to say than that of the rest of the planets you may have the best raja yogas and just a malefic touch of rahu or ketu and all the so called raj yogas evaporate somebody asked how come rahu becomes so important so decisive so powerful in deciding the course of life for that you have to understand rahu and to understand you have to go beyond the mind as long as you are following your mind you may talk you may read millions and millions of astrology books you may read and yet you never would self realize what a rahu is all about do not listen to the voice of the mind listen to the voice of the heart the mind wavers the heart does not the mind is the home of doubts reasoning and theories the heart when purified becomes the dwelling of the beloved read your heart of low desires malice selfishness and god will manifest in you as your true self says avatar meher baba a rahuish man or woman never understands this they become the mind they follow their mind and it is this mind that leads them to many miseries problems and troubles and yet they never realize until the last moment of their life they simply keep following their mind and the mind never lets them rest in peace you know why because the nature of the mind is in itself of being restless the more you follow your mind the more you become restless but ignorance never lets you realize this truth and this ignorance is rahu rahu is that smoke which never lets you see through the heart but always compels you to see through the mind and that is where you go on missing the many many wonderful truths of life why rahu becomes so important in the affairs of human beings your existence your birth in this human form is because of rahu this rahu is your desire you are born in human form to satisfy your desires desire 
is what brings you back in the physical form and so it is not jupiter not venus not moon not mars not saturn but solely rahu that leads you to human birth this human birth then goes on satisfying the many desires unfinished businesses so rahu is the one who drives every human being towards satisfying the desires that simply never end and so rahu desires become the enemy of your self growth but ironically people don't get it and so they just keep running behind their desires thinking that once they get a mercedes they can slow down rahu the desire will let them slow down but that never happens after one mercedes you want to have one more bmw and then more and more and more this is how rahu is more and it is this desire of more and more that leads you to the acts of sin and the greatest irony is that because you are following your mind you just never realize this you are so much engaged in accumulating more and more and more in the northwest region of china once a disciple of lao tzu was made the judge and the first case that came was that of a very rich wealthy man of the town who was robbed by a poor man and the case was easy to solve because the poor man had admitted to his crime he said sir it is true that i robbed two packets of rice from this man's godown my mother my wife my children were starving i had no choice yes i take responsibility for my actions you can announce your judgment the rich man smiled he was happy that now he would get back his two packets of rice and the case will be closed because this poor man had admitted his crime lao tzu's disciple listened to both of them the rich man said this man should be severely punished i appeal to the judge that he should be locked up and lao tzu's disciple announced his judgment he said lock up this rich man case closed the whole court was shocked the rich man started shivering he shouted what is this why me and lao tzu's disciple said the whole town is going through a severe famine hundreds of families in this town are dying of starvation and you are piling up your godowns with food crops you are busy in getting more and more and more of wealth for your family it is true that this poor man has done a crime of stealing food but who made him do so it is your ignorance if you would have shown some compassion some brotherhood some understanding if you would have shared your wealth to help this poor starving families of the town this man would not have been forced to steal to commit a crime it is your ignorance and greed that has made this poor man a thief so the real culprit is not this poor man but you arrest him and put him in the lock up but the story doesn't end here the king of that region was also present during this court proceedings and when he heard lao tzu's disciples judgment he became cautious he said to himself this man is a danger to my throne today he has put the rich man in lock up tomorrow he may find out my misdoings and so the next day lao tzu's disciple was transferred to different ministry and this is what is happening in today's world 
द रिच द एरोगंट इग्नोरंट रूलर्स आर बिजी एक्युमुलेटिंग मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर एंड इन धीस मोर इज राहू एंड इट इज धीस मोर दैट इज राहू दैट इवेन्च्युअली लीड्स वन टू सिनफुल डीड्स एंड दैट इज हाउ द ग्रेट डिवाइन मास्टर लाव सू सेज टू मच इज द ओनली सीन Rahu is doing too much and it is this too much that makes your life more miserable more difficult than otherwise fifth house rahu too much of romance too many love affairs so much so that there are men and women who simply forget that there is something called marriage they just go on and on and on and then one fine day suddenly they realize that now they should get married and then marriage rarely becomes a reality seventh house rahu too much of sex the man or woman wants more and more sexual relations and then they simply forget that there is something called love and by the time they realize it is too late the marriage is already on the verge of breaking ninth house rahu too much of fake belief the man or woman just goes on visiting hundreds of temples gods and yet there is no peace within they simply forget that god is not in the idols but very much within and by the time they realize they are already on their death beds similarly second house rahu too much of money mindedness the man or woman just goes on accumulating money they are such money minded fellows that they simply forget that there is something called life something called love till the very last breath of their life they remain worried about money throughout their life they keep chasing money so much so that they become money the rahu to man or woman just don't know anything beyond saving they simply are obsessed towards savings they just go on saving and saving and saving there is one famous verse of jesus on saving jesus says whatever you would save will be lost and whatever you are willing to lose will be saved quite a strange calculation but that is how it is this golden message of jesus resonates with that of the buddha buddha says you only lose what you cling to in the spiritual world what seems to you as the truth is the exact opposite of what it is to the spiritual world for you 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 but for the divine master it is simply two twos with no judgment just two individuals two twos and that's all quite an upside down mathematics isn't it but that is how it is in the world that is beyond the understanding of the material world and rahu that is the desires won't let you realize the truth desires make you more and more ignorant and ignorance becomes the sole reason for your failures and miseries when ignorance comes you tend to ignore the higher values of humanity morals ethics understanding everything is dropped for the sake of achieving desires the zodiac signs simply signify the quality of desires that is the quality of rahu rahu in libra is considered to be better or exalted why just because the books the sages have mentioned you go on like a parrot but have you ever asked the question why libra is a sign of balance Libra is an airy sign. Air has a relationship with something that is higher. That is why you have so much glamour around a pilot than someone who is driving a bus or a car. You see, the moment you have a relationship with something that is airy, a certain glamour, 
certain importance comes and that is how even when a common man flies he suddenly remains no more a common man that is how a rahu when boards the airplane of libra is suddenly exalted in the air now rahu cannot play around his cheap desires he should remember where he is now something of higher nature has to be desired and that is how a man with higher desires is seen with a libra rahu and one with lower desires is seen with an aries rahu rahu brings so much ignorance to you that you start taking life seriously as if this is the only life that you have and with the western culture hovering over the east people in asia also have started believing that there is only one life and so as the west is always rushing to do everything as soon as possible the east also has been rushing to do everything as soon as possible because there is only one life but this belief is not the truth and the ancient civilization of the east was perfectly aware of the fact that the soul goes through many births and rebirths and so the ancient asians were never found to be in rush it is only after the western influence and globalization that now do more has become the mantra of this age and that is how rahu has become the leader of this age in western astrology rahu is called the north node of the moon that is the mind and that is how as long as you continue to follow your mind you never would be able to get out of the prison for it is your mind which is the hardest prison to escape as long as you are ruled by the mind you are ruled by the dark shadow of desires and obsessions called rahu the hardest prison to escape is your mind whenever rahu is close to your ascendant such a man or woman is a rahuish by nature the inclination of such a person is more towards rahu extrovert by nature such a person is always thinking and thinking and thinking if you look into their mind it is filled with millions of thoughts and all those thoughts are either of the past or of the future the mind is rarely focused in the present moment and that is how people miss many opportunities to grow because it is only when you are here and now in this now moment that you can be 100% attentive and it is only when you are 100% attentive that success is guaranteed the key is to be in the present moment to be here now when you are here and now not jumping ahead the miracle has happened to be in the moment is the miracle and so i appeal to all my close followers and listeners that if you are more of rahu and less of ketu and you are going through many troubles and miseries then just try to be here now and that's what meditation is all about to meditate is to be here now yoga can become very meaningful and significant for the modern mind because yoga can save it can teach you again how to be here now how to forget the past and how to forget the future and how to remain in the present moment with such intensity that this moment becomes timeless the very moment becomes eternity meditation helps you to stay in the present moment it helps you to realize that past is no more and the future is not yet 
all you have is the present moment learn to live the moment learn to realize the beauty of isness the business of the buddhas is to be here now a single business bringing people to isness to here and now for every man who is an extrovert meaning rahuish for every man or woman who is following the mind for every man and woman who has become a slave of their mind this is what your business also should be to be here and now isness should become the business of all men and women who are longing for real growth the way to real growth is to become more human and more tolerant focus within let the rahuish attitude and the nature of constantly looking on the outside for finding happiness fade away and let the real happiness the real growth begin within you that is my only prayer for all my close followers and listeners happiness is your nature it is not wrong to seek happiness what is wrong is to seek it on the outside when it is inside look within meditate it may take millions of lives to overcome the mind the desires but always remember every long journey begins with a small step let the journey towards the self begin turn inwards look within meditate every day chant every day Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Om Gam Ganapataye Namaha Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Guru ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम